Hello, this is part two of the correlations tutorial where we will look at the types of correlations and how they relate to the different levels of measurement. By clicking on this link, we get a page which has a table that explains the relationship between levels of measurement and the different types of graphical and descriptive correlation options. So let's start uh, at with nominal binomial data and this is the simplest type of analysis. Uh, the simplest possible type of analysis is a two by two relationship such as between male and female and um, whether people snore or don't snore. Uh, in this case for the graphical options we can use a clustered bar graph and uh, for statistical purposes we can use chi-squared as the test statistic and phi or Kramer's v as the correlation uh, statistic and that's equivalent to a Pearson product moment correlation. Uh, our next option is ordinal binomial data. There's no special statistics for that so we can treat ordinal binomial data as nominal binomial data. Remember you can always go down a level of measurement but you cannot go up a level of measurement. Uh, the next option is the situation where we have nominal data but in this case it would need to be dichotomous only two levels and the relationship between a dichotomous and interval ratio variable can be uh, expressed using a point by serial correlation which is just a normal correlation uh, applied to this particular situation so a Pearson product moment correlation hence the subscript and we can use either a scatter plot bar chart or error bar chart. In the um, in the next scenario, we have uh, ordinal by ordinal data. In that case, a scatter plot or clustered bar chart could be appropriate, and we can use Spearman's row, which is a normal Pearson product moment correlation, hence the R with the subscript S, or Kendall's tau as the equivalent of um, Pearson's product moment correlation. And if we have ordinal by interval ratio data, then we can either, there's nothing special, so we either recode our data down to dichotomous by interval ratio and use this approach, or we uh, treat the data as ordinal by ordinal. And finally, if we have interval ratio type data by interval ratio type data, we can draw the scatter plot and get the bivariate uh, Pearson product moment correlation. So using this uh, table, you can pretty much work out what is the most appropriate uh, approach in a given correlational uh, situation. 